What's good, y'all? Um, I don't usually, you know, do this when, you know, I usually don't make videos and stuff, you know, when people pass away, but, um, this shit, like, really fucked me up. This, this really hit deep. Um, I'm still in shock. Like, this, this is crazy. Like, I just, I still can't believe this shit. It's been, like, it's, like, 9 o'clock now, and I'm still just fucked up. Like, it fucked, it messed up my whole day. Like, that was just couldn't function right like this is crazy um but if y'all didn't know I'm pretty sure y'all know because it's everywhere um Kobe Bryant um, passed away earlier today he was in a helicopter uh crash when I was younger I was really into basketball and Kobe was like the number one person that I looked up to like I wanted to be literally be a female female version of Kobe Bryant bro like I want to shoot like him want to do moves like him like I Kobe was that nigga to me, bro. Oh, God, bro. Like, every time I'll shoot a jump shot, I'll be like, Kobe. Or every time I'll be in class and I'll shoot a paper into the trash can, I'll be like, Kobe, bro. Like, I really looked up to do, you know. Um, So this, find this out, bro. Like, it really, like, I just couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. Like, it was like damn near 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I had just woke up. I hadn't looked at my phone yet. I was just sitting in my room, you know, getting my clothes together because I planned on, I was going to do like three videos today. I was going to go to the gym. I was going to, you know, do shit today. I was in a good mood. And then my mom came in my room and she was like, look. And then all I saw was Kobe Bryant killed in a helicopter crash. And I was just like, and I was stuck that way for like three, four minutes. I was just like, like, I couldn't move. Like, I was just in shock. Like, I didn't expect that shit. Like, that, like, it was crazy. And then, you know, like, even once my mom walked out the room, I was still just stuck, bruh. And then, like, once I, like, you know, got back, to, you know, got back to, you know, into reality, bruh, like, I just started crying. It was crazy how I didn't even know this dude personally, and his death really affected me. I felt close to him because, you know, I looked up to dude. You know, he always showing love. He was a positive person. You know, he did so much for the game of basketball. The game of basketball wouldn't be the way it was. He was one reason why basketball is the way it is, you know, because of Kobe. You know, he, you know, made some mistakes in the past, but having me all, you know, still that doesn't take away what he did for, you know, did for the community, did for the game of basketball, you know. He can't take away his talent and how talented he was, you know. He really is a legend. But also, the thing that really fucked me up even more is his daughter. His 13-year-old daughter was also on the helicopter, too. There was, like, five people, and two of them was, you know, two of the people was Kobe and his daughter. That even fucked me up more, because she was only 13. Like, she didn't even have a chance to live life, do all the things that she wanted to do. You know, she wanted to play ball, too. She wanted to be like her dad. You know, I think they were on their way to a basketball game. Yeah. Um, dude, they were on the way to do something with basketball contained the basketball but yeah uh that's just sad because i have a sister that's nine and it's just like she ain't too far away from kobe's daughter i can only something happened to my sister bro like i would go crazy like i can only imagine what his wife and his family's going through like not she just lose her husband she lost her 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 child like i don't wish that on my worst enemy you know them losing a child like i i you know i would hate my mom to die but I would rather her die. I pray that she dies before me. Like, I don't want my mom to have, have to bury me, bro. Like, I don't wish that on nobody, that them having to bury their child, bro. Like, that's a different type of, like, having to sit there and see your child laying in the casket, bro. Like, that shit, I can only imagine, bro. Like, I hope, when I had kids, I hope that I go before them because I, I do not want to have to bury my kid. Like, that shit would hurt so deep. Like, I can only imagine what they go, what she's going through. And my prayers to his family and his friend, his close friends. Um, I know not everybody prays, not everybody believes in God, but you know, for the sake of his family, you know, I would like to send a little prayer. I would like to do a moment of silence and ask me y'all could like bow your head and just say a little small prayer, you know, to his family. Uh, just bow your heads and we gonna just have, have a moment of silence in your head. Just say a little prayer, you know. I just did, do that just out of out of respect for his family, you know. So I'm starting now. Amen. I hope y'all pray with me. If you didn't, you just close your eyes. It's all good, you know. But uh, yeah, I just had to do that real quick. Um, every time something like this happens, I always just think like, wow, life is really short. Like you just never know where you gonna go. That's why you gotta live life to the fullest. I just realized like, bro, I'm not really living life the way I should. Like I should really be take, taking life more serious. And I feel like I don't. 
and I'm trying to start taking life serious because every time somebody dies, like, I just think, like, damn, life is really short. You know, I'm 19, just turned 19. I'm blessed to see 19. I got people that didn't make it to see, you know, 18, 17, you know, and I'm blessed to be able to, I was able to see those years of my life. You know, Kobe Bryant's daughter just died at the age of 13, and it's like, damn, she didn't even make it to see 21. You know, it's crazy. That's why, you know, you got to cherish life more. You got to cherish the people you love, tell people you love them. You know, because you never know when they're going to go. You know, it's sad to say, but all of us going to die. I'm going to die. You're going to die. Everybody that's on this earth right now, right now one day is going to go. That's just how God set everything up. And, you know, we all have an expiration date, you know, just like milk. Milk has an expiration date. We have an expiration date, you know, you know to graduate from this earth. Um, we got to tell people we love them, you know. Call your family members that you don't really talk to a lot. Start calling them more. Spending time with your family. Spending time with friends. Just living life more because your life can be gone like that. Like you can die. You can die ten minutes from now. You can drop one second and one millisecond. Like you can die right now. Drop dead right now. Like that's how it be. And um, shit like this makes me really realize. Like damn, life is really short. It, life is too short to be holding grudges and. Staying mad at people for a long time, like, just talk that shit out, you know, because it's life too short, you know, to be fighting with people, you know, like, just let that shit go, let the beef, I don't got beef with nobody, anything negative that you've done to me, bro, I'm letting everything go, I don't have life too short to be holding on to that, that, all that shit, bro, I'm just letting, I let everything go, left all that shit in 2019, this year, bro, I'm just all about positivity and just grinding and just trying to, you know, make something up. Out myself, you know, uh, Kobe, bruh, RP to the legend. You know, in the comments below, man, spam the comments up. RP Kobe, man, put them eights, put them 24s. You know, real fans you know before he was number 24, he was number eight. So, put them eights, put them 24s, man, to spam the comments, man. This, this something that really hit deep, especially if you a hooper. Like, this shit really, really hitting deep. You know, I'm not big of a hooper like that, but still, like. I have a lot of friends that play basketball, and they said that shit really fucking them up, and it fucked me up too because he was one of my favorite basketball players, um, so number one person that I looked up to when it came to basketball and just life period, because you know he was inspirational just with not just with basketball, but just other stuff too, just life period. You know I don't really look up to a lot of people, but he was one person that I looked up to, and um, yeah, uh, I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to tell y'all, man, we just gotta. Realize that life is too short and we all gonna die one day. So we need to live life more. Live every day like it's your last. Live, try to live your best life. Um, try to, you know, tell people you love them. Because, you know, your mama can walk out that door and never walk back in. Like, that's crazy. Like, Kobe and his daughter got ready that this morning. Brushed their teeth, whatever. Got dressed. Got on the helicopter not knowing that that was gonna happen to them. Not knowing that they was not gonna walk back into their door, into their house. Like, that's crazy. You know, that's why you just, you just, it's crazy, you just never know when it's your time to go, but you, you know, we can't control when it's our time, you can't control how you're going to die, when you're going to die, you just got to, it's just going to happen, and you know, it, it is, you know, it's just, it's just life, bro, it's sad, it sucks, but hey, you know, that's just how God set everything up, but um, yeah, man, RP to Kobe, prayers out to his family, his wife, I know his wife is going through it, Um, I know he, they just had a baby back in June, too, like, damn, like, you know, they got kids, like, that's just, I just, I'm still just all over the place, this shit fucked me up deeply, um, I mean, I just want y'all to know, cherish life, life is too short, do all the things you want to do, because you never know when's your time to go, you can be gone tomorrow, We can, you can be gone two hours from now, you just never know, that's why you just gotta do the, all the things you want to do, don't hold nothing back, just do your, live life, live life to the fullest, like it's your last, because forever ain't forever, we ain't gonna live forever, we all gonna die, not everybody lives to be old, some people die when they 5, 10, 15, and 20 years old, like, not everybody makes it to be 70, 80 years old, you know, so you just, till then, till, till God calls you home, bro, you just gotta live life to the fullest, you know, but yeah, um, I don't wanna make this video too long, I just want to, you know, give that little message to y'all. My prayers out to his family and um, all people that was close to him, all the people that really super big fans of him like I was. 
you know, prayers out to everybody. That's all I see on social media is Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. I've been trying to kind of like stay out of so stay off social media because it's just really just sad to see him. He's just, he's everywhere. It's just like so I just haven't really been on social media like that um, today since I found that out. But uh, yeah, um, I love y'all. Um, thank y'all for rocking with me. You know. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna get out of here. About to go eat. I haven't ate all day because, like I said, this shit fucked me up. I didn't fuck, I've been messed up all day about this. It's like 9 o'clock, 9 something now. But uh, yeah, I'm about to go eat. And yeah, man, um, I got videos coming soon. Got a video dropping tomorrow. That's gonna be funny. Um, but yeah, man, prayers out to y'all. Stay safe out there. A lot of crazy things happening in the world, bro. Stay safe. My prayers out to y'all. Be careful. Um, yeah, man, uh, I'll see y'all.